What's going on guys, Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets and welcome back to another video. I wanna go ahead and say thanks to all the new subscribers. I've noticed a ton of new subscribers since we started the one ton video swap series. Sadly, um, I actually already have the next video ready to post. It's, it's done, it's loaded, but I wanna put something else out that's unrelated to the one ton swap because I know a ton of people on the channel like the videos but aren't necessarily planning to do that. So we gotta keep a mix of other Jeep installs other than the one ton swap video series. So I'm gonna kinda alternate between videos but for those of you that are new to the channel, thanks for watching and in this video, we are gonna be installing an overhead panel in the JK, so let's go check it out. Here it is, our new overhead panel from Molly Platform Solutions. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with the brand because that is the same guy that made the d rear door strap extensions. It turned out to be a really popular video and uh, seems like a lot of you guys ordered them. So while you were checking out with those, hopefully you checked out his other products. He makes a ton of really awesome stuff. He's a very small business, but makes great products. So I picked this up, 150 bucks on his website. And as you can tell, it has the Molly cutouts. What that is, is it allows you to put, you know, Molly gear bags um, and they securely attach to this. I'll include a bunch of links to some different gear bags and stuff on Amazon in the video description. So you can check out what I'm talking about. But the reason I really got this is because I wanted to mount, I'm trying to block that sun i have the rugged radios mobile unit just sitting on my dash there and i really wanted to mount it overhead so with this design i'll be able to find a way to mount it overhead in the center um same deal for you cb guys that have a big cb box and you want to find a place to mount it this will be a great option along with the gear bags we can put a flashlight screwdrivers knives really anything we want in some gear bags up here it's gonna be a pretty cool option now as you can tell it does have cutouts these cutouts allow for overhead switch pods whether it's an s tech or you know an s pod any uh overhead switch system is going to be compatible with this and it also has a cutout in the rear here for our hard top uh little lever so we can get access to that it's going to be a really easy install all we have to do is drill three holes and he included some self-tapping screws which are hiding right under there and some zip ties for the rear not sure how i feel about that yet but once we install it we'll see if there's any other options other than zip ties that we can do or who knows maybe the zip ties will work fine so let's go ahead and start the install on this can be pretty simple and straightforward but we're gonna see how it looks on the jeep so let's do it but before we do that i want to show you guys the xj i think this is the cleanest it's ever been uh all day today i just spent detailing it cleaning it because this is going to be the last day i own the xj Super sad, um, it's going to Cassie's brother. So it's gonna be his first Jeep, it's actually his first car. He just got his license and this is gonna be the birth of a new Jeeper hopefully. So clean it up, really nice for him, but by XJ, it's been a great, great Jeep. And uh, I'd love to build this thing in the future. You know, if he uh, ever upgrades to another one, I'll probably, you know, get it back from him and we'll start building that one. But that's enough about the XJ. I'm gonna miss that thing. It's been a great Jeep. Everybody hates XJs, but it's they're, they're great. So let's go ahead and install this. Our first step is gonna be to remove this trim up here. So I already kind of did it just because it's hard with two hands holding the camera. Um, we are gonna swing our rear view um, or the visors down and just pull this out. It's held in by a couple clips right there. Uh, just pop it out from the backside, slide it over and it pops down. Now in, in Alan's instructions for this overhead panel, he says to remove the, uh, the freedom panels or your soft top first but i really want to mock the panel up to make sure that we position it right so we still have full access to this knob here um, i really don't want it to be off center a little bit to where you can't get to this so i'm going to leave these on for now we're going to go grab the panel throw it up here and do a quick mock-up to make sure it's centered perfectly this back piece just slides right underneath the top in our sound bar and we are going to position this so we have plenty of room for our little knob. Personally, I would do this job with the panels on, um, just so, I mean, there's really no need to take them off from what I'm seeing, uh, unless I'm missing something, but we'll see. So let me go ahead and set up the GoPro and show you guys how to position this so we can still have good access to our uh, our freedom panel knob. Let's set the GoPro down. All right, so now that we know we have our panel centered, just going off the middle line here, kind of gauging it on the factory radio, and the rear dome light. I'm gonna pull it all the way forward, push it up, and we can either mark it with a Sharpie or a center punch. So put it right in the middle there and punch it. Now keeping it in the same spot, do the same on this side. Cool. 
So we can remove our panel, slide it out of the way, make sure you don't crack your windshield. I'm gonna make sure I can mark these a little better and then come with our 3 16 drill bit, drill these holes out. And now it's time to put our panel back into position and screw it in. We're not gonna secure it all the way down yet just because we wanna make sure that these two holes over here are lined up. Do some final checks, make sure our knob clears. Cool. Let's go ahead and tighten them down. You really want to make sure that you don't tighten them too much because uh, self-tabbing screws are pretty easy to strip. So we're just going to get it snug. In the instructions, it said we might have to do a little trimming of our trim, but we're going to put it up and see if everything clears. Let's see, rotate this up, over. Cool, it just snapped into place without any trimming. I kinda see why he said to remove the Freedom Top panels. Um, little tip and trick for you guys, what I would do, especially looking back at it now, is make the marks long ways so we know you know horizontal position but in order to suck this up closer to the freedom panels uh, with them removed you would push this all the way up and it would just it would give you a little less gap here for me that's not a big deal but that's an option for you guys uh, personally i really wanted to make sure that this little knob here fit so that's kind of why i left it on but if you want this to tuck up closer to your hard top, uh, remove the freedom panels and push it up a little bit more. But that install was not bad. Now let's figure out how this attaches to the rear. If you have a sunshade, you're gonna have to take it off and go ahead and fold it back so we can get access to that panel. All right, I've been up here for probably 10 minutes trying to figure out how in the world to secure this to the roll bar using the zip ties. Um, I'm sure that if I pulled the hard top off, I could probably sneak it in between the sound bar and this crossbar right here. But first of all, I really don't like the idea of using the zip tie to secure it here. So I don't I, what popped in my head was just to use a self-tapping screw uh, into this plastic here instead of using a zip tie. Now the one I have, the, that's the only one I have, is actually pretty small. I'm gonna do it for now, but in the future, I'm gonna go back and get a bigger one, similar to what we used in the front. So if Alan, if you're watching this, I'll probably reach out to him later. You probably could make the zip tie work. I didn't really see anything in the instructions that it, you know talked about how to use a zip tie, but I think using a self-tapping screw would just be a better option. So in the future, I'll go to Home Depot and get a bigger one, but for now, I'm just gonna self-tap it right into here so it's nice and secure. Nice, that is nice and secure. Um, my one issue would be, um, you know, since the pl it's plastic, that it wouldn't be strong enough, but I'm kind of yanking on it and that's that's secure i really like this idea better than the zip tie just because that is a lot stronger in case for some crazy reason uh you know we get really off camber or something hits this i don't want it flying off so this is definitely that's 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 actually really secure let me hop down oh oh man oh yeah that's neat all right guys so i got distracted 
Uh, I was really close to finishing up the video and doing you know, the final walkthrough and stuff, but I really want to get this rugged radios mounted up here. Um, but I do have to remove the top once again uh, to fold the brackets over because it's a little loose. My fingers can't get up in there to fold the tabs over. So if you do want to put your, mount your bracket or a CB radio, do it with the freedom panels off instead of putting them back on and then in the future messing with this. Um, if you don't have a bracket that you can just simply fold the tabs, you can honestly just drill a hole in the overhead panel and your bracket, which I mean, your, the bracket already has holes in most cases. Just drill a hole in your panel and use a bolt to bolt it right up there. But this seems to be a really good place for a CB radio or like a VHF rugged radio type uh, setup because you're clutter free up on your dash, you're clutter free down here, you don't have a big radio up there. It's sitting right there, it's a good place to be able to see. Um, I might have to move my mic mount somewhere else, maybe up here, because that's a little annoying having that the, <laughs> the, the cord hanging straight down. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, freedom panel and finish up this mount real quick, and then we'll do an overall review and uh, you know final thoughts and wrap up just finished it up got the radio up there and it's looking great i found an old molly bag of mine so i can show you guys what you know a molly bag is for those of you that don't know um like i said i'm going to where'd it go it disappeared um <laughs> it's probably in the back like i said i'm going to include a bunch of different options uh in the video description so you guys can check this out uh not this but different styles of molly bags this one is actually a uh a military bag it's pretty thick it's a med bag but what a molly bag does is it has these straps and you weave in and out of these straps here as well as those holes up there so it's a nice secure mounting option and it's it's actually really cool this is a bigger one they sell them a lot smaller i'll choose some good ones and throw them in the video description as well as include this in the video description so for example we would just thread it in and out and have a bag up there like I said, that's really big. I wouldn't recommend putting anything up there that big, but let's hop in the Jeep and check this thing out. Overall, the fitment and install was extremely simple. Uh, it looks to be really well made. It's plenty strong. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, Ben, well, if you do a roll cage, you get that option to mount stuff up there. I'm not doing a roll cage yet. I will in the future, but I really want to do one that's custom made and really fits my needs. I like leaning the seats back pretty far. Most of the roll cages that come behind here don't really allow that. And there's a lot of other little things that I'd like to do that there's not on the market yet. So I'd also like to make my own, which would be really cool. But that's way down the road. For now, this solves most of my issues with having you know, the radio mounted up here. You know, you will have to do a little custom work to get your radio mounted, but it's at an angle I like now, and it clears up my dash, which is really cool. Powder coating job on this looks really nice. And overall, I mean, it's sturdy. I like it, 150 bucks, not bad at all. Allen makes some great stuff. So go be sure to uh, check out the video description, check it out, check out the Molly bags I'm posting links to, and see if this will be a good solution for you. Uh, like I said, they do make it for the JK and the JL as well. And plus, I think it looks pretty cool up in here. I'm not gonna lie, um, especially once we get some stuff mounted up there. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Install super easy. This video is probably dragging out pretty long right now. I'm cold, I'm gonna go inside. Let me know when you think I should post the next episode of the One Ton Swap video series. Should I do it pretty soon, like tomorrow? Or should I wait a little bit and uh, keep you guys waiting pretty uh i'm excited how that video turned out as a pretty cool process of the you know the next step of the build and i'm looking forward to continue those videos but we have a lot of other videos in between those so stick around watch them all thanks for watching guys uh if you have any questions go down in the comments let me know give the video a thumbs up and hopefully you are subscribed to jk here and gadgets because we got a lot in store for 2019 thanks guys peace